It was the day after the big speech for President Obama and day one of his campaign to sell a new economic program to Congress and the country. Ray Suarez has that story. So this bill will help people on unemployment. The president took his jobs plan on the road to the University of Richmond in Virginia and a crowd of 8,000. Everything in the American Jobs Act, everything in there is the kind of proposal that's been supported in the past by both Democrats and Republicans. Nothing radical in this bill. Everything in it will put more people back to work and more money back into the pockets of those who are working. The President of the United States. The President rolled out his American Jobs Act in last night's address to a joint session of Congress. It would cost just under $450 billion including some $250 billion in tax breaks, mostly in the form of payroll tax cuts for workers and employers. There's also nearly $200 billion in new spending for public works, unemployment benefits, and aid to the states. The president has vowed the JOBS Act will be fully paid for, and he's asking the new deficit super committee to help find ways to do that. He also says he'll offer new deficit-cutting ideas of his own, including curbs on Medicare and Medicaid, in 10 days' time. Overall, White House officials project nearly 1.9 million jobs will result from the plan. But first, it has to win approval in Congress. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi challenged Republicans today to work with the president. So I think it's about and not between the Democrats and Republicans, it's about the American people. And, and uh, I think that will give an opening uh, to work in a bipartisan way. But I think we have to be respectful. You know, I don't think we have to confront. I think we should just see where we can find our common ground. You want a tax break? To that end, the president staged his event today in the Virginia district of House Majority Leader Eric Cantor, the chamber's number two Republican. I'm an optimistic person. I believe in America. I believe in our democracy. I believe that if you just stay at it long enough, eventually, after they've exhausted all the options, folks do the right thing. House Earlier, Cantor spoke on the House floor and I'll called for accommodation. The president came last night, and there were several things and proposals within his speech that seem to reflect some areas that we can both agree on and build towards consensus. This is an opportunity for us uh, to set aside the differences that we have, because good people can differ, uh, and begin to focus on things like allowing for tax relief for small businesses, like allowing for the rollback of regulatory impediments that stand in the way of small business growth. But on the campaign trail, there was little talk of common ground from the president's Republican challengers. Minnesota Congresswoman Michelle Bachman came out swinging shortly after Mr. Obama spoke to Congress. And I stand here tonight to say to the president, not only should Congress not pass his plan, I say, Mr. President, stop. Your last plan hasn't worked, and it's hurting the American economy. And in a web video, the Mitt Romney campaign called the Obama economic policies a failure. The president will continue to push for public support for his program in the coming days, with rallies next week in Ohio and North Carolina.